as welcome to your general reading for October. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always, along with information about what decks of cards I use in each video, as there's a lot of videos and a lot of different cards, okay? So the first card out is card number 16, Caught in the Ruins. So you may be feeling trapped in a situation or stuck, not knowing your way out of a situation here. It kind of feels like the Eight of Swords, like I'm locked up, they won't let me out. <laughs> Maybe you can't get out for your birthday here. But here it feels like, you know, there's a way out because look at this, these ruins. I mean, look above them, there's not even a roof. So there's two people in there. So it's like... You both are feeling stuck in, you know, a situation at the moment. You both feel like there's no way forward or back, but there is. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, guys? So it's like you could be caught in the ruins of a relationship here. Like what happened has happened, you know? This tower has come down. It's been destroyed, but there is a way out. Look up because there's no roof there. Okay? That gate is just old and creaky. I'm sure you could push it, you know, and work through this and get out of there. Let's see. Archangel Gabriel. This has come out in a lot of the readings, okay? And I feel like it's just because we're getting a lot of divine support at this time, you know, um, this leveling up that we're doing, these difficult times that we're going through. We're getting a lot of um, guidance and protection here, okay? the journey so you're definitely on this journey okay um some of you could have been on it a long time as i'm drawn to like the sun setting in the background there some of you i'm viewing this as sunrise and that the journey is just about to begin you know you just may be about to escape the ruins of this relationship you know or you could be you know this is at the bottom of the tower you know you're just getting yourself out of there but <laughs> There's still some way to go on this journey, but I want you to know that you are definitely guided and protected, okay? You could even be traveling during October um, and things may seem like they kind of go wrong, but you're being protected. And I just realized I keep saying, but, <laughs> okay, so there's always a silver lining. That's the but, <laughs> okay, so I definitely feel like, you know, um, you're going to be now committed to getting out of these ruins of the relationship here. I mean, it is Libra season, so happy birthday if you're in October, Libra. You know, you'll want to be, it's like your solar return. So it's like, I've just got to get out of this funk that I'm in. You know, I'm not trapped here where there's a will, there's a way. There's got to be a way out of this. So I definitely feel like you're about to embark on a journey um, of spirituality. Like I said, you could have been on it already, but it's like you're about to get out of this funk here. Okay, it may seem like there's been one thing after another to overcome, but I feel like you're overcoming that. Okay, it's all part of the journey. It's part and parcel of the path that you're on here. Queen of Wands. You guys are always looking attractive and amazing anyway. I mean, I don't know a Libra who doesn't, you know, look good. So here I feel like this is you getting this um, fire behind you to get out of these ruins, this passion to really, you know, pick yourself up. It's drive here that I'm feeling. That's what you'll be getting from your solar return, motivation to take action to get yourself out of these ruins here. Um, so, yeah, I definitely see you taking action. And so you should, you know, so you should. You don't, yeah. Um, a new approach. So the chariot here, you will be successful of getting out of these ruins. You're not trapped there forever. Like I said, in those ruins there, the roof is missing, the gate is creaky, the walls are broken down, there is a way out. Maybe you just need a new approach or you just need to take action. 
but soon as you do, you start moving, you know, and nothing can hold you back here. Once you get that fire behind you, nothing's going to hold you back. It's like you're getting motivation and determination, you know, from um, this part of your journey. It's like, okay, I'm done with sat around. It's time to get moving now. I'm all cried out here. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Pentacles. Back to your fabulous self. You could even be buying yourself some birthday gifts here, like treating yourself. This card always reminds me of a Libra. I know it's a pentacles, but look at them. Looking good, like fashionable, on point, like everything just prestige in place. You know, she's not playing here. So it's like, I'm getting back to my fabulous self. Um, the ruins aren't really suiting me. You know, I need this castle to be built, looking good. Uh, you could even be moving home to a new home, upgrading here. But it's like no more waiting around to be rescued or, you know, you're rescuing yourself here. You're getting some fire underneath you, motivation. And it's going to be successful. It'll work out for the best here. It's like I'm getting back on track. I'm getting back to myself. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. Yeah, look at that. Eight of Swords. We was talking about that like... This is a myth. This is a myth. You are not trapped. This is somebody who's overthinking. So if you feel stuck in a relationship or you feel stuck like in the ruins of a relationship, you know, attached to something and you're no longer even with that person, you're going to be getting motivated to get up and get out there and just keep it moving here. You know, it's like the realization I'm not stuck. I may be on this journey. You know, that was like a bump in the road, but you know, I'm going to turn up here for my birthday. I'm going to look good. I'm going to look like the boss of this place. And you're just getting back to feeling good and looking good and getting unstuck, you know, realizing it's all a mindset here. The Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. Again, about immediate action needed. Okay, guys. It does say with the Queen of Wands, you will take action. So this is like immediate action needed. Okay. Take action. Get yourself out there. If you've tried something and it didn't work, try a new approach. That's the chariot. It's letting you know the new approach will pay off will be successful you get back to that nine of pentacles where you are grown you are fabulous and looking on point okay your clothes are like on fleek um so it's like yeah i'm coming in i'm gonna speak nothing but my truth the holy truth <laughs> you know this is what it feels like like you're just doing you you may be telling people a few home truths and they don't like it you may be trying to free yourself from a situation or relationship and people don't like it. But this is you, Libra, you know, like getting on your way, taking action. Um, I definitely feel here as well. Um, it's like the more successful, the more momentum you get, you know, you know, the more empowered you feel. So it's like being at a stuck still and then starting to get a little bit momentum it quickly picks up and then you're like balling out of control here but like it's saying money's good you're looking good okay and you're just standing in your power here with the uh, prince of swords that's like telling the truth and only accepting the truth and it's like the truth shall set you free so there ain't no point lying to yourself if something ain't right it ain't right if you feel like you know what i'm better off alone you're better off alone the truth shall set you free here in the eight of swords she's like refusing to open up her eyes and look that you know maybe this relationship ain't so great you know maybe i need to free myself from this the truth shall set you free here So maybe somebody comes in to tell you some truths as well here um, because maybe you're like, that's all I wanted. 
I wanted the truth from you. Now go on your way, do your thing, go back to wherever. But thanks for finally telling me the truth or you finally accepting the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Don't worry, you're looking good, you're feeling good. Look at that. Five of Wands. This is like Mars coming in for you guys. Like, you're going to feel empowered. And you're not going to be taking this rubbish from people who want to argue with you, want to drag you down, who want to lie to you. Please, the truth. So, you don't mind talking to people as long as they're talking the truth. If they're talking this mess... Some people are trying to get messy with you here and you're not about it. You're just like, I'm just holding on to the truth. Because the moment you step into a dialogue with these people who want to try and conflict your mind, um, try and convince you that you're crazy or you know, you're imagining things, this is when you step into the Eight of Swords and start overthinking and feeling stuck. It's time to get on that journey. It's time to get on track now. Jump in the chariot. You know, look how fabulous you're going to come out here. It's like stepping into your power. Just don't entertain into petty arguments here. You know, I feel like you could give it, you know, as good as you get because I feel like you're wielding the truth. You have truth on your side, so you could easily cut these people down like with their little flimsy sticks, you've got this sword of truth and you're like, try me. But just don't be dragged down to their level, okay? They are being petty. Seven of swords, didn't I tell you? Petty, lying, thieves, trying to steal your shine. Could even be spreading rumours about you, okay? Don't, don't fall for it. Don't go down to their level. You know, they're just not even equipped for the truth that you're about to bring. Just, they've got sticks. How are they going to bring sticks to this knife fight? <laughs> you know, you're just like, just don't, don't fall for it. It's trying to drag you down. You are going to be empowered and you do have the power over them, but they're not even worth it. They're not worth it. They're lying. You know they are. Free yourself from the ruins here. Don't overthink it. Don't let them gaslight you, telling you you're crazy, you're imagining it. They're lying to you here. It's like, get on that chariot and be out. You know, take action. Immediate action is needed here. You're not stuck. Yeah, this is part of your journey and you are being divinely guided, but you're not stuck, okay? If one way doesn't work, take a new approach. You'll free yourself. You really will. Princess of Wands, okay? And with this Five of Wands, this Princess of Wands communication is drama. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to bring some sort of drama to you. Um, could just be that they're jealous of you because you're looking good here. You know, money's good. They're just, I don't know. They could just be jealous. This is just drama arguments, lies, they're just spreading gossip about you, but that's because they have nothing better to do with their own life. You've got to ignore this sort of energy. The three of Wands, because your ships are coming in now. Things you deserve are coming to you, so don't get caught up in this energy. It's going to be only for the beginning of October, but then what do you call it? We have you know, you being rewarded here, okay? If you can bypass being dragged down, if you can free yourself, we have you being rewarded here, Libra. So it'll be, it'll be a good time for you. It'll be a good time for you. Good things coming in. You've just got to bypass this drama in the middle here. Take action. The fool, there you go. The fool, jump. Start over again, okay? Start over again. If needs be, you know, take the trip on your own. If needs be, you know, spoil yourself. But don't let fear hold you back here because the fool is somebody fearless, okay? And 
just because you don't know what's on the other side or what life will be like without this person or without this job or without these people doesn't mean you shouldn't take a chance because you'll never know. And the worst thing is, is living with regrets. These opportunities are right here for you now, but you've got to take the chance. Okay, guys, you're not stuck. Take a new approach. Good luck, guys.